it has been quite some time. It is February 2023. There are a few people still wanting our Game of the Year video for 2022, including the best and the worst games. It's still coming. It's going to be late. A lot of stuff has happened in the last couple of weeks. But we're not going to touch on that right now. What we are going to touch on is Castle Crumble, which is the first February release of 2023 for Apple Arcade. It is developed by Orbital Knight, and Orbital Knight was responsible for Spire Blast on Apple Arcade, which not the biggest fan of. To be honest. This, I think, is a much better job, a much better outing at being a physics-based puzzle game. Spire Blast was very slightly physics-based, but it felt more like a traditional puzzle game with the with the color-coded blocks in that particular game. Was I able to knock out that TNT? Not quite. I don't have many major qualms about this game. I think for what it is, it's relatively solid enough. This one right here is one thing that I feel is a bit, I don't want to say unfair, but it doesn't make the most sense to me. If you want to have an area of a level without any stars, by all means, go ahead and do that. For this area, there are no more minions or monsters to take care of. There is still a standing tower, but I already got the star. I feel like it makes more sense to allow that star to only be gained at the very end of completing that progress bar. Given me that star, but not having that area be, uh, poops. Let's see if I can actually... Let's plant TNT right there, an explosive charge. Let's throw out this chain. Didn't have the attended effect, but I think it'll be well enough. Let's see if we can get a fuse bomb in there. And then we'll see if I can take out this tower and get the three stars. And there we go. Really, minor nitpick aside, but worth pointing out. I will say, as a game, it's it's fine. I, I think you can do much worse when it comes to, you know, a tower destructed, destruction style game. Uh, let's see. Let's place a TNT right there, but... chain. It's not going to hit the TNT. Bummer. What happens if I hit this with a fuse bomb? Will I still get access to that fuse bomb? No, that's just going to keep on flying. It, it's done. That is not coming back. Oh well. We'll do that and we'll just plant some TNT. Plant one there, plant one there. Fire a fuse bomb. Take care of that. There's not much to it. There are boosters if you do find yourself getting stuck and you can 
Let's see if I can navigate to it. I find navigating to be a bit of a pain on Apple TV. I think it's much better handled on a touchscreen device. You can buy some boosters from the shop. The boosters do not unlock until you complete the specific level. I believe it looks like there's one booster per kingdom. This first kingdom has 180 stars, so I believe about 60 levels. On average, it looks like for each kingdom. Four kingdoms, four boosters. You don't really need the boosters. I find that these levels are fair enough that you can get by without them, but the boosters are there if you do need them. And aside from that, if we kind of take a look at some of the achievements here, you get an achievement for completing the kingdom if you complete a number of levels with three stars, buying boosters, destroying a barrier, feed your first sundew and see it in action, destroy 10 explosive balloons. Not much to it. And I'm actually going to have to find... going to use the Apple remote here to, to kind of back up. There are leaderboards. I'm apparently within the top 150 when it comes to collecting stars, total score. Out of curiosity. Let's look at the global rankings. <laughs> And it looks like it's gonna... Let's just do today. It looks like it's bugging out for the time being. But... For what it is, it's fine. I don't think there's really much of anything that's been a runaway success. Or absolutely amazing on Apple Arcade so far. Pocket Card Jockey Ride On is a fantastic, great game. It has also been on the 3DS. So it doesn't quite have the same exact impact, but it's still a great game. Squiggle Drop is fine. Illustrated almost feels like a spin-off to the game Patterned, which is by the same dev, Illustrated and Patterned. There's not really a banger yet, I feel like, for Apple Arcade this year. Nothing like, and I probably shouldn't say this because it's going to spoil, but Wildflowers arrived early on Apple Arcade last year. And it set the bar for basically the rest of the year. Shield messed me up good. But again, for what it is, this is not a bad game. Certainly better than Spire Blast, but I did not enjoy that all that much. Fewer shots you take, more points and coins you get. If that's your, gosh dang it, if that is a thing that you want to chase. But if you just want to go for the three stars, I, I think this progression is a lot fairer. Looks like we got ourselves a barrier. Destroyed the generator. And now we can destroy the tower. And I guess I have to destroy this as well. I will just wail on this thing as long as it takes. There we go. Now hold up. Didn't I still have some shots remaining? Or was I not paying attention and just firing with reckless abandon? 
Okay, it looks like I was. Looks like I was. So let's fix that. There we go. Yeah. Castle Crumble. It's all right. I think control-wise, it's probably best on a touchscreen device just because it's simpler to move the camera, place your shots, access, and maneuver around, and all that jazz. Music